Boy, you can't even see. No, I was gonna say. Damn, I'm really here trying to take a nice montage. And it ain't gonna work out. <laughs> New kids on the block. Vintage, vintage L? L train. Oh. L train vintage. L train vintage. Not really the best of the best. It was like the number one recommended to us and. It was okay. It was but I mean, they right. had a couple locations. I think Urban's right next to it. Alrighty, we have a ride. Okay, no, we haven't. But, okay, so we asked the lady that worked there. We're like, yo, this place is trash. So, what's another vintage store nearby? She literally gave us the pamphlet of all the other stores just like that one like it's the same chain just all around new york so here we is trying a new one. Ooh, but this one looks snazzier not snazz i don't know not snazzier that way but whoa is that all their clothes damn but yeah this is l train vintage so it's like a chain which like i find weird because usually vintage stores there's just like one Okay, so we left. What was it called? Uh, it was L another L train. Okay, okay, it was another L train. Right, right, right. But we were in there, and then these like young people. I'm not trying to get copyrighted. Like, keep the distance. Um, but yeah, so then these like guys that were in there were so nice. They're like, y'all, these prices ain't the one. We're like, y'all, right. you feel that? Mm -hmm. And he's like, I just went down the street. There's a place called. It's called Urban Jungle, Urban Jungle. and it's literally like vintage clothing. And he's like, y'all. He got Chelsea boots. He got like a jersey. He's like, they were all like hella cheap. I was like. Yeah reasonable prices that's so what i love to hear so shout out to him don't know his name but we're here now and it looks and they're playing some jams urban jungle oh wow this place is huge wow oh my god leon there's even a section there holy y'all this place is huge like this is probably the biggest vintage store i've ever been out okay whoa 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 leon but 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 calm down calm down but this is definitely like the hey, biggest vintage store size. i've ever been into there's like a ton of shoes just like a ton of everything yo this is my size oh they are yeah. try them on try them on is there a basket oh yeah wow what are we at winners Ooh, <laughs> he's really chopping oh my goodness and look at all the shoes wow look at all the antiques Oh my god, this place is so cool. Holy. I'm very overwhelmed right now because there's just so much around me. I'm in the men's shoes though. Like, why am I really here? Yeah, just go explore. Okay, yeah, we're gonna, we gonna go explore. I don't know where to start because there's like so much. This is insane. It's just like all Adidas tracksuit pants all in one section. And also, this is an added section. So, like, I was over there, and I didn't even really, like, see this area. But there's this whole section as well. I'm trying to find more women's. Ooh, this is a sick, just Nike sweater. It's got a hoodie. Snazzy. Okay, if y'all didn't know, tie-dye is, like, really in right now. And this is literally an entire section dedicated to tie-dye. So, this makes it super easy for me not to look through things. Okay, that baby is going off. But, yeah, this section is just tie-dye like what okay this is rising up on me but this is like a really cute romper i wish it fit me it's super tight we're currently on the road waiting for the bus ew don't mind the side of my lip by the way <laughs> We don't talk about her. But yeah, we're going, wait, what's this thrift store called? Uh, Beacon's Closet. We're going to Beacon's Closet. Never heard of her, but we're excited because I heard so much about L Train, which actually I was pretty disappointed with L Train. It was more of the urban jungle that really, that was really the spot. Oh, I guess I can kind of show y'all. Okay. So what, okay, but it looks so, it looks like a salad from here, <laughs> like a fruit salad. But this looks like really cute like tied up you know what i mean with like mom jeans type of thing and then it has like this which is like someone pinned it so it's either like a belt you can like tie it around your waist or you can make it a choker you can put it in your hair to match your shirt so i love that and that was eight dollars so like what eleven dollars ten dollars canadian not bad and then leonard got oh what 
Did I even explain why we're in New York? No, I didn't give any explanation whatsoever, <laughs> but we're going to- We're just to, randomly here. I know, I didn't do nothing. Wow, I didn't even intro. Why y'all watching this? But anyways, Leon got a flag of the United States of America because we're going to Electric Zoo, which is a music festival that happens in New York. So he wanted to somehow, I don't know why, represent. he wanted to represent America, even though we're not from here, but whatever. He got it. And then, if you saw, I filmed the tie-dye section. Leon got, this was $3. Like, that's really, all the tie-dye shirts were $3. But this one's like San Francisco. And it's embroidered. And it's like yeah. Embroidered, but it's like good, thick Probably. quality. And like, I don't know, it just doesn't look like a cheap tie-dye. Yeah, it looks it's like, like a nice. screen print. It's good yeah, quality. Yeah, it's nice. And then Leon also got it's a nice top. It's breezy, nice summer breezy. Yeah, these are like actually like vintage, like the tags are vintage. This is six dollars and it's just super thin. Yeah, it's a nice summer breezy, breezy Cute top. with some jeans, air horses, and call it a night. And yeah, that was basically, that was the haul. Oh, we went to like so many vintage and thrift stores now and that's what we got. But honestly, I didn't like the L vintage and we're not trying to spend, like we didn't really like come here to like shop shop because we can't like fit a lot going back home in our suitcase. So we're also like thinking about like everything we buy. Like, do we really need it? Do we really not? So, I mean, I didn't really need this, but it's really cute. That was nice. Yeah, it's cute. Um, okay, yeah, so I don't know what area this is. What area is this? Like we're still in Brooklyn, but yeah. uh, we just went to like another area of vintage. Oh wow, this one's called Awake Vintage. I can tell this is like a snazzy vintage place just by like the way that their clothes are. Okay, so we left that store ASAP. <laughs> uh, okay, no, that's the type of vintage that like I don't even like going into because I know that their stuff is thrifted and then they're like overselling their clothes. Overpricing, sorry, overpricing their clothes. And the one thing that I like filmed, it was like a nice dress, but it was $175. What? No, 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 maybe $125. Jeez. Which Canadian, that's like $140 for a dress that, like everything from a vintage store is thrifted. So that's why I'm like, when y'all overprice things, <laughs> The only people that buy there must be people that don't go thrifting. No. Because like you have to be or dumb to- they're too to, lazy to thrift. They're yeah, or like, they're too lazy to thrift because like Leon literally, he saw a Planet Hollywood uh, t-shirt there. Yeah, we just saw a, Holly, a Planet Hollywood t-shirt in like the other vintage store, but it was like, what, five bucks? Five I don't bucks, know. Yeah. And here it was $32 US. So I don't know about you, but it's not worth it to me. And yeah, so now we're actually going to the other vintage store. This one looks so snazzy. Oh, so it's like a buy, sell, trade, vintage, modern clothes. Oh my goodness, this together is a look. This hat, this shirt, who knows what pants, but this place has a lot going on. Oh, but it's color coded. I know, that's what I like about it. It's I didn't even take that in. Yo, that's so helpful. Oh my, look how cool these heels are. Oh my goodness, like look at the point. Oh my goodness, but they're $124, so we're not getting that. But I found these, which is like, I don't know, Reebok shoes, and I'm gonna try them on, hopefully they fit. Because we're going to the festival on the weekend, I do want to have really comfy shoes, and these look like nice shoes. I'm gonna hope these fit. Oh my god. Sorry, didn't see you. Oh, I really like this. Oh, but it's so low. Like a pom -pom. This stuff and here. Like if you're gorgeous. into, if you're into um, luxury, vintage, or like, because yeah, like, like look, really there's pieces. like just right here. There's like a Prada heel, and half of this stuff is barely used. Like yeah. they buy used clothing. Like they're but, reasonable prices for the brands. Yeah, like, for the little, brands. They're a little over my budget. Because what this is? Yeah, eighty-four dollars for Prada shoes. I don't wear Prada. And not like cool tight, like hella tight. We can't breathe. Okay, so we're leaving Beacon's Closet, yeah. but y'all, that place was sick. Really nice. Like, just, yeah. I really suggest if you're into, also if you want to sell your clothes, mm -hmm. because like, it's kind of, I told Leon, it's like a Play-Doh's Closet, but for like, upscale, upscale, you know, for the snazzy, snazzy, snazzy yeah. people. Cause like they were taking Prada, Chanel, and it's like check through, I guess. Mm -hmm. So it's for real like mm, yeah. brands. Um, Cause they had like a little station. It was called the pickup station where like you give your clothes. I guess they have like a guy checking to see if like it's all authentic or whatever. Um, 
but like you're buying it for a good price i'm not into brand names like i don't really both of us aren't but if i was like that'd be a sick store because like there was like prada for cheap chanel for cheap all these like snazzy high, brands yeah, high-end brand names and yeah. like really unique pieces like you yeah, i don't think you'd super find anywhere else. unique like i know like vintage stores it's like you know you find like one of every kind but like this was like super like cool special, stuff but it was like just curated like curated pieces too yeah it's not like the employees just like throwing it on the rack like, yeah they actually like select and like go through all the clothes now we're going to buffalo exchange yeah which is two people told us to go there i think that's like an actual thrift store not vintage yeah. store but it's like five minutes away so we said why not Okay, this is another place. It's called Crossroads oh, trading. Tradings Co. Ooh, ooh, go ahead, open the door. Let's see what we have to offer. Alrighty, Buffalo Exchange. Okay, this store is much smaller than the other ones we went to, but still a lot of clothes. Oh my goodness, they have like fanny packs. Buy, sell, trade, fashion. Designer, vintage, everyday staples, one of a kind. 50% off. Oh, fun. Okay. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen. She bought shoes. Woo, woo, woo. Uh, yeah, okay. So, Buffalo Exchange is like a trade and whatever that type of thing. Um, so, I bought these like Nike Air Maxes. I'm not into shoes at all, but I only wear, I think I mentioned this, I only wear Converse Vans and what else? Converse Vans. Dogs. Dog. like I don't wear like proper sneakers. running shoes or sneakers and I put these on and they felt so comfortable and I've been wanting like colorful shoes for a long time because I love color like I love these I mean they're definitely like a little worn out but aren't we all I don't care because like look at them I'm gonna wear them to the festival they were $26 no tax because they don't tax the uh, stuff that's used so I'm pretty happy about my purchase. $26, I that's mean like what, deal. like 30 whatever for Nike Air Maxes? Yeah, it's true, and they're a good steal. condition. Yeah, no, they're good condition. They were hella comfy. Like I put them on right away and I felt like I was in heaven, like I was walking on a cloud. <laughs> that's a store if you didn't know. Okay, let's, we're right, now going, one. this is the, hold on, hold these for two seconds. This place looks hella vintage. This is sick. So this is called what, Monk? Monk uh, Vintage. Monk Vintage, so it's called Monk. Oh, vintage thrift store or shop. I'm dumb. Yeah, okay. Monk. Wow, <laughs> this is snazzy. Wow, this is a dollar. I love a dollar. Yo, this place is sick. Like, not even just the clothes. I haven't even looked at the clothes yet, but it's just... Like, look at this. I feel like this is like someone's apartment and they low-key live here. It's so nice. And like, look at all the antiques. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm honestly really shocked because like most vintage places like this, their stuff is super overpriced or like not super overpriced, just like not thrift store prices. But like I saw this dress and this could literally be like someone's prom dress almost. And it's 14, oh, hold up. It's $14. Like this is so cute. I don't think this is gonna fit me though. It looks way too big. Y'all, look at this vintage find. So it's like, I love Disney if you didn't know or whatever. But this is like a literal vintage Disney skirt. It's got like goofy mini, but it's got like old designs. Wow. Yeah, it just looks like, like look at Mickey. And it just feels vintage. It's a skirt. Oh, it's so cute. Like look at, it, there's like so much going on with it, but that ain't cute. Oh. Hold up. So we're gonna have to have put that back. But like, this is why we love vintage because like this is one of a kind for sure. Like you ain't gonna find this nowhere else. And we love that. Okay, so I decided to like put this over, like not properly, but you know. But I feel like this would be really cute. Like if I wore a shirt underneath and if I like put a chain here maybe to make it tighter. I don't know, I'm kind of a fan. Kind of a fan. I just think it's so like, girly and cute it definitely needs to be ironed i decided that i'm getting it just because like even in the winter i can wear a turtleneck underneath and then i can always find something to like cinch around the waist so it doesn't look like i'm drowning in the dress and it's like good quality i don't know if y'all can tell but this is like nice silk like usually over 65 dollars quality so we're gonna take this okay so leon has decided what he wants this is a dollar good turtleneck yeah you can't go wrong Wow, this is a dollar as well. Classic. Oh my goodness, I'm dead. I love New York, five dollars. That's good. Okay, yeah. 
I was thinking of getting something like that. Do you want to explain what Tweet is? Because I don't know. Cannabis brand in oh. Canada, famous Canada. Oh, it's in Canada. It's a Canadian. It's a Canadian. Cannabis Represent. Brand. That's what How much is that one? It is seventeen fifty. That's the thing. But it is a pretty rare shirt. Get it. All right. Listen, sometimes. When we talking about vintage, you can't think about the price because it's vintage, it's one of a kind. You ain't never gonna find like, <laughs> what am I saying? You ain't never gonna find anything like this in your life. You might find something similar. Alrighty, so update. Um, we are finally done. Yeah, we're done. I got the dress. We've, what, how many stores how did we go we to? did L Train, the first one, another L Train, Urban Jungle. Jungle. Um, what was the other one we went to? Oh, uh, shit. Oh, Beacon. Beacon. And then the vintage store before that. Yeah. And then what else? And then there was the Buffalo Exchange. It was Crossroads. And then Monks. So how many? You I were counting? counting? I thought you were thought counting. You were <laughs> okay, I'll just put the number right here. I forget. Or if you were counting along, thanks. Oh, yeah. I so I think my overall saying for New York, this wasn't even New York though. Like this was Brooklyn. Brooklyn. So it is New York. But it wasn't like New Man York. It Manhattan. was, yeah, it wasn't like Manhattan. It was Brooklyn thrifting. But I mean, still in New York. And I give it a, favorite? my favorite, mm, I think that place, Monks. the Monk Vintage. I would suggest if you like vintage, vintage, like, um, if you're from Toronto, it reminded me of like tribal rhythm. It's like actual like vintage clothing. I mean, they all were actual vintage, but like this doesn't seem like stuff that's like thrifted and then they resell it. Yeah, true. This is like actual like from the era that it's shown from. And we didn't even like look through all the sections in that no. store. They definitely have like, I feel like everything on the shelf was like a hidden gem and like super unique and affordable. I'd have to say that um, Urban, no, Beacon, Beacon Closet, that was the one? Oh, okay, yeah. Beacon Closet, I love the variety what they had, uh, but the brands, they were just out of my budget, but. But you liked it. I liked the pieces. And the and concept. Like, and they curated, how they curated everything. Okay, yes. It was, it was, so if you're, okay, so basically if you're into like bougie, nice vintage, go there. If you're into like vintage, vintage, vintage yeah, go I'd to Monks. Like Monks. Monks is the best. If you and want. Urban, and Urban, uh, Urban Jungle had the best prices though. Yes, and Urban if you Jungle. want like, vintage and like, like value, cheap yeah, thrifting value, vintage then the urban jungle yeah. i don't think it's worth going to l train i think it's overhyped and it's I small it's, like you're gonna travel overhyped. to go to a small store so yeah. i would not suggest that but yeah urban jungle would be like the best place value, to start like, yeah. i think because they For have sure. like a bit of everything and it's huge so yeah i guess i'm gonna end the video here because like we had a full day of thrifting and like you don't want to see us eat pizza because we're trying to enjoy so thanks so much for watching shout out to leonard comment down below if you're from new york and you have any suggestions that we should do yeah, seriously. Wanna, because wanna, we have like the whole week to do things i mean we do have things we do have like a list but we always, we're always yeah, open to suggestions always open to suggestions and, food you know, places shopping you. places oh jesus <laughs> um but yeah, comment down below. Comment down below if you're going to Electric Zoo also because that's where we will be this weekend. Yes. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Shout out to these people for their support because we appreciate it very much. And I will see y'all in my next video. Do you want to close it out? Boom. No. Nope. Oh, no. You have to fully close it out. All right.